Greetings and welcome back Sometimes to the new I village area. Now, the mine is here. I had to take that thing down and then I decided to keep it because I realized I was probably going to build there. And so I made the mistake of tearing it down and then I'm building it back up again. Oops, that was definitely a silly mistake. But it's all good because here we are at a spot where we have... We have two more houses we can fill, which is a huge thing. We also have, let's see here, four more total slots that we can gather stone. And the reason that that means anything and that that's relevant, and by the way, this whole mine, I might have to get rid of this well temporarily. It's, it just might be what it is. I might have to ditch it. Right now, I did some, I did the math. So I looked at, looked at all of my jobs. I looked at all the demands and decided, well, you know what? If we're taking this seriously, I got to like know the math on it. I need to know the numbers. So tech count wise for fun, we're over 5,000, which is great. 5,239. Uh, survival tech, we're basically at the herbalist hut, but this is going a lot slower than I anticipated, so that's a little concerning. Farm tech is just fine. We are not... I'm not too worried about farming tech. Although, yeah, because once we get the apiary, honestly, I'm not worried about it after the apiary. This is my biggest worry right there. Oh, man, 3,566 for the... Reduction tech. This is where the most concerns are. Smithy 3 is going to help with that because then I can smelt iron, which will help. So in Hut 3, I hope helps because I'm hoping that there's actually a second workstation here. We'll see. More capacious and sturdy. Mm, I really hope so because we really need more workers. So anyway, back to the other thing the whole idea of the calculations. And you'll see them on the screen too, obviously, yeah. which is that. We produce about, well, we produce this much stone, and we're consuming this much, and that leaves us with 193 stone missing, which I can easily make up by mining, but that does turn into real busy times making that up, you know? So, we need more stone. Wait, what? My bad. Wait, why is he? Hello? Hello there, what can I do for you? My bad. Wait, what's up with this? You're not gonna let me ride the wagon? Hello there, what can I do for you? My bad, sorry. Huh. Oh, I'm too dirty. Yeah, got it, right. Anyway, let's go get cleaned up. Like, geez, guy's like telling me I smell bad. He won't even tell me I smell bad. He's like, <laughs> sir, could you move on? There we go. Right, I was mining too much and doing too many things. Okay, the other things that we need, leather, um, you can see here, we, we need quite a bit of leather, 149, which is probably the first thing we need to solve. So, we will get rolling here. Hello there. I need a ride, my guy. Uh, please get us to, to uh, Astoya. Start here. Let's go. Since we haven't seen the workers here, I would still, ideally, I need some extractors and I need some producers. Since we need the production tech, that's a big deal. Oh, look, there's the guy wearing black again. I wonder about this fellow. Super shady boss man. Too busy, huh? I don't know about that guy. I wonder about him and his story. Uh, extract. Ooh, my bad. We'll see here. No, man, not a lot of good. There is something hypnotizing about the fire. Oh, shoot. So that's not good. You see this? And I've obviously got her. She. Often ask me how it is to live here. Good, bad. I've got her. She's got diplomacy and production. If I were to say what I value the most in life, hmm. I would say people. That's good. I'm glad you value people. Maybe I'll start. You're oh, the only one I've got from this place. Off. You're good. Let's roll. Now. I am here, and I could do a quick money maker. I have forty thousand. Fine. On. I don't really. I don't need to. Is what I'm gonna say. I don't need to do that. So we're gonna put you in the small house, and then what are we gonna have you do? I mean, honestly, well, I don't have the. Don't have the facility done yet. She has a skill of one, which is totally pointless. Uh. But I don't really have anywhere for her to work production-wise. Hmm. Do I have somewhere she can temporarily do her thing? That can give any amount of skill for production. 
Yeah, that's the problem. I don't really have a lot of spaces for her to work, and I need to finish the other one. I can have her work as a cook in the kitchen, which basically does nothing. As a mine. Oh, as a miner, what is that getting us? Well, let's see here. What are we producing so far with that mine? I don't think this is going to do enough to make it worth the time, but I'm curious. Oh, oh, that's right. I remember I had fixed this before, but then I forgot to fix it at the start of the episode. My bad. Silly to let that one go. Now, this obviously I've done the calculations with this in there. I just forgot to save after I did the check. All right, let's double check and make sure I didn't mess this one up. Ooh, hey. I definitely took off the iron ore. I wanted to be sure that we were only doing the stone. So that being the case, that was a quick jump. We are currently making 186, and if I add her there, really don't expect it to do too much, honestly, but it's something. Let's see here. 197. <laughs> 5. 10. It gives us 10. I am willing to just gain 10 more stone, because it's 10 more stone than I have, so there's that. Now, I obviously need to get the leather, too. How is life pretty We're going to go to Skelky, because I think... Actually, that's a bad move. We haven't done Klonika yet. That's the right move. Hello there. We're going to Klonika, man. I should have turned in the quest wells there. But, first off, I need people working. I need those extraction people. Let's go. So, the plan today, let's get our guy who wants to be a... Who wants to... Um, Check the new hobby. Check Giddy the up. new career out. Let's get our woodworker going. And then we need to hunt, obviously. We need to get some bison hunted because we need that leather. Now, I don't have to get off the donkey, but I find it easier. There's an extractor. Perfect. Tell me you do extraction. Cool. Two extractors and a survival on it, too. How can I help you there. You? Like the of the coast You're good. Now, how old are you? 23? Cool. Now, he is... Alright, he's a different age than our other person, which is great. You. Let's get you in a small house. You have no choice. You Actually, that's not bad. Having you with the 27-year-old is good. And then, where are you going to work? Well, obviously the mine. So let's get you in the mine. I want you to replace her because that's not a good fit. And then you're also extractor three. And let's see here, how old were you? We'll put you there, and let's get you in the mine. Now that should get us a good little setup here for this. All right, I obviously need to finish off getting her a job, and we're gonna put her temporarily somewhere that can raise her skills actually that's not true either we're just going to put her somewhere temporarily i'm going to let her go into the hunting lodge temporarily just to get us some numbers in our leather now that being the case we're still one lady shy and at this point as far as we need we need not an extractor but now a producer we need a woodworker well a woodworker or a crafter or a smith anything Alrighty, and now we're at the point where we're low. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Um, obviously it's sticks and planks. These are the things that we're low on. And right now, the balancing act of getting all of that to work out, that's the trick. So that's where we're at. That's what we have to confront. And that's where we have to deal with, is to get all through all these different needs so that we can keep the production up. Part of the problem with that is just keeping the balance alive and running it through. It is a bit of a, a snag, obviously. We are going to get there. We're going to do our best anyway. There we go. That'll do. Eh, very do so well. much. Goodbye. Nice. All right, then finish the last little bit here running. We'll go to Skalky. I believe the last thing we can Probably do is... Life. Oh, I actually kind of want to go get the vice scent on the way back. Check last things here. We need to drop off our hammer with our dude who's right there, who we can check in as we go. And our last step here, I think we can get us a guy. And I need a guy who can make things. 
I am the one who built that city. Ooh, look at this guy. Oh wow, he's totally amazing. All right, man. How can I help you? Uh, we'll take you on in our village, boss man. And I already know where I'm gonna put y'all. Okay, now I don't have a job for you yet, obviously. So you are problematic in that sense. I gotta go finish up that uh, smithy. All right, that's the next step. Let's get him there. And obviously, he just needs a temporary fit. And he can do it all. So, let's get him an extraction shed. Because he can do all the things. That's awesome. So now we're here. We have a good setup with that. Um, obviously, sticks is another one of the things we need. Here, you'll see a massive amount of sticks required. That's our hugest, like, big... That's a big rub right there. That's a big concern. We need so many sticks. All right, you. You ready for this? Alrighty, so the big inner tools, you said it's uh, the hand that uses them rather than the material they're made out of. Alright, good luck with that experiment. Oh, thanks for the ores, man. Free iron ore. Okay, I'll take it. Alright, now, I believe Hello. the best thing we can do is go to Klonica first. The reason for it, of course, is that there's easy access to hunting some bison right up here. And we need Donnie up here. There's going to be bison on the way over here, and then there's going to be a bison on the way home. So we're going to get both. We need it all. I really could have used a rye beer on the way, so let's check and see if I happen to... Oh, darn. Where's my Donnie? There you are, Don. Oh, boy. There you go. Teleported too close and then too far. Yes. We have a rye beer. Now let's roll. All right, Don. Now, hunting drunk. Never a good freaking move. But definitely not going to have my character drink a bunch. Unlike that quest, which was hilarious. I do get a kick out of that person deciding that she wanted to get us messed up. All right, I recall the bison being up here, though. And that was in a totally another playthrough, wasn't it? Uh, you guys aren't worth it. Hey, all right, there we got the herbalist hut. That's a win. Uh, I don't consider these guys worth hunting at this point because five leather is nothing. The meat is not really worth it, but they're in the way. So let's get rolling. All right, we'll take these guys down, and now it's time to get the bison. Uh oh, apparently we have another one. Hmm. All right, well, I guess. Here we go. Now we're in the right zone. Deers as well. There we go. Alright, you. Alright, big gay. Need you to come over here. Have at me! It's coming right for us! Gotcha! Alright, then. Oh, your buddies just saw that happen, so they're upset. That makes sense. I mean, I would be too. Oops. Over anticipated. Oh, bad. There we go, and oh, I guess I'm not gonna, I guess I'm not gonna get the hit. Okay, I missed that first shot, but oh boy, there we go. Good show. We'll do a dodge. Oops, that was a silly move, because it had a good turn on it. Oh, you have a tree. There, they hit. Get you down. Get you, buddy. Uh-huh. Sorry, buddy. You just, uh... You got, don't got the turning radius that you might need. Gotta work on that turning radius, man. Alright, here we go. We'll get all this bison leather and meat back to the village. And that'll do us some good, I'll tell you what. There's our guy. I honestly can't tell. I mean, is the, um... Sometimes I feel like... The uh, iron arrow or the uh, iron spear hunting is honestly sometimes more fun and better than the other. I don't know. That's just me. It sometimes feels like more fun. All right, where's Donnie? Let's go, Don. Oh, yep, yep. You're gonna have to wake up there, buddy. I know. Just another thing. All right, there we go. And we'll ride you back. We'll ride you all the way back home. 
Because I know there's bison across the river. Ooh, no, there's not. I hunted them. Hmm. I am not about hunting the boars right now. The boars, just five leather is not worth it right now. When I need 192 leather per day, I can't be going with that. Now here, oh my, look at all the needs we have. I would really love to just stack up on sticks too while I'm at it. I might have to do a bunch of that. And the rest of this day, I might just have to jump in the mine and get some stock so that this winter we don't have to deal with this. Because we are running low on daylight. 1.30... Oh wait, there's no actual faster way. Hmm, right on. <laughs> you have no competition, boss man. Other than Don, you have no competition for getting rides in this area. Ah yes, and we also have... By the look of it, we also have to deal with our animal feed situation, and we have a little bit of farming to deal with as well. The thing I'm not as concerned about the farming needs as I am the fact that they aren't accomplishing anything. That's the thing that I'm a little concerned with. I don't want to waste time with workers not getting things done, because that means we aren't getting any resources. Uh, let's get over to there. Oh, potion of strength. Okay, fine. It makes hunting easier. Okay, we'll take it. Let's go. Little bits of things. Nothing I really need, and at this point in the game, ah, uh, those things aren't as worth it as they used to be. Deer I would hunt, but the amount of time it takes to keep up with them isn't worth the amount of time it takes to hunt them. So it takes me more time to down them than it does things like the moose and the bison. So I'd rather just get straight over to where we hunt and be done with it. That way we can make better use of our time, and also, since we do have to drop off our leather as it is, that will get our producers producing quicker. There we go. Almost home, and Don is working hard. Well, oh yes, we do have our nets to take care of. So we'll do that real quick. It gives us a small amount of tech. I mean, honestly, it's not the best, but it will help our character level up too, because we haven't actually gotten all of our leather. We are not fully leveled at this point. Giddy up. Alrighty, and now I need to build more of them. I do so much want to finish the decorating around here, and that is a definite thing that needs to be done for their houses. I need to make sure their productivity is higher, although, honestly, that's going to be a slight concern as well, is that uh, once I get them more productive, that means I need more stone. Oh well. Right, there we go, and then... Donnie's got things in his inventory, too. Alright, let's get all this stuff in and go from there. Then... Alright, that'll help out a portion of our workers. And then, as we look here, guarantee you we are out of a lot of things. Look at that, no logs. <laughs> Low on linen. Oat grains there. There's a right, there's a right grain. There's our wheat and all that. Straw. We are going to make a few things here. Obviously need to really just focus on... I really want to just focus on our... Getting the... Getting ourselves all of the things we need for our hunting done. So that'll be the thing we really want to dig in on. But I do need to make the animal feed as well. And if we aren't producing... If our animals aren't producing resources, then we aren't producing things that we need to use for our fields, and then those field workers aren't doing their thing, and that's a problem too. Ah, yes. Stone. Obviously, I saw no stone. I see no sticks either. Oh, yeah, I have 152 stone. Interesting. That's good. So we're still slightly keeping up. Sticks are not at all keeping up. Firewood doesn't exist. So that's a problem we have too, because right now we have a competition between people being able to use the being able to use the uh, wood resources for crafting versus having to use them for heating their homes. That's a huge no-no for competition. I do, do absolutely not want that. All right, now, let's see here, our mine there, our, we've got the, hmm, we got the well up here. I probably will have to get rid of that well. Just don't think we need to keep that thing sitting there. Could always upgrade the barn next season just to be sure that we're good to go. Let's get our animal feed done. 
and then hunt and finish up the day. Ooh, sticks. We really need sticks. There we go. That's animal's feed. I think on the way back in, let's do as many sticks as we can get away with, which is apparently not going to be too many because I've used up a lot of this area. And obviously there's so many more plans for what's going to happen here, which is really fun to think about the future of this area because it will be, we'll be expanding this. It'll be nice. Now I have already changed my woodworkers into doing a huge amount of sticks. It is, I mean, it's basically almost all sticks, but I need the logs because otherwise I'm not going to have enough firewood to deal with the seasons. So right now we do have kind of a mix of, can we get enough out of the, uh, can we get enough firewood to keep up with the demands for wood from the logs and also still have a couple to produce. I could start tearing down trees it's a thing, it's definitely an option, but really the amount that you tear down, when I when you think about just taking trees down with your main character and to get resources, it is not as productive as your villagers can be. Not even close. So it's almost not even worth considering, given that you can get so much more out of them. Which is why when I start my villages out, really my first villager is a woodworker. As best as I can get away with. Just because making logs for free is such a big deal. And when I say for free, I mean just you click on your shed and you're done. <laughs> it helps a lot. And it's better than you having to sit there and do it yourself. All right, I don't need that field causing any more distractions on the announcements. There we go. I probably could have sat on the donkey and done these stick gatherings, but I'm not as accurate on the donkey when I do it. And the day is nearly done, unfortunately. There's Donnie. There we go. The day is nearly done. I was probably going to just sell that stuff, honestly. Alright, and then with Don... You there. Donnie. Oh yes, I have wine and juices. We'll toss these into the here for you. And the wine and juice can go in here. Alright, Don. Yeah. We need to hunt before the end of the season so that we don't have to think about leather next time around. I don't know if I have hunted this area yet either before, so we have to go check. I think for this, I think from this particular uh, season, I have not actually gone over to the hunting zone that's right by our village. I believe that I haven't had a chance to do that because there's been too many other things going on. But I gotta check. If I have already hunted over here, then oops, it's gonna be a little bit more of a journey to get to the other area. And again, that's one of those problems with the distance between my recordings, is that sometimes I forget stuff. And I think we're going to find out that we've already hunted this area out. Yeah, we definitely did. Actually, what's that? No, we did not. Because there shouldn't be a moose here if I hunted this area out. And... There we go. Oh, Donnie, I know. And go. Alright, let's get this shot in. Got it. Still have more moose. M -m -m more moose. There we go, and the bear is off and taking down mooses. Mooses. Oops, that's a free shot on a moose. And let's see here. Can I get that long range shot? Perhaps. Yeah, apparently I did. Okay. Bear is over there. We'll deal with them in a moment, apparently now. Nope, maybe not. Let's harvest this yay. Well, girl, sorry. Definitely a female moose. Let's harvest this one and then see about where we're at. All right, it looks like the bear's just gonna kind of wander. I would love it if the bear got too busy dealing with the uh, other animals. Oh, I was gonna hope to slow the bear down with that. Oh. Now with the bear. Ooh. Ooh, we might have to be a little cautious here. We've got to get a couple more shots. Oh, that was a problem. I can't be missing that much. Missing. Missing is a problem, you know? Okay, and that'll take us a little closer to him being down. But we're not quite there yet. Ooh, okay. So now he's had to run back. He or she, I suppose. I don't know. Get it. Now, you're laughing at me, aren't you, Don? Of course you are. Of course Don's laughing at me. I'm out of arrows. 
Oh, darn it. That's a problem. Oops, and we need to equip it. Too bad it doesn't auto-equip. There we go. Let's get a couple more arrows in the inventory. Oh, I'll take a stick, apparently. All right, we got another arrow. Oh, that's the one I need right there. Not drinking my stagnant water quite yet. Almost. Give me a moment. Oh, it's moving pretty slow. Let's see what we can do about just finishing this thing off. There we go. And then we'll take down the bear. Good echo in the, in this area. And this will give us some fur so we can decorate people's houses too, right? That's a good thing to have it for. And some meats. And after a good mauling, I'm ready for the rest of the hunt. All right, that was a close shave, I'd say. I was hoping I could start doing some dodging, but then I got a little nervous and decided that I wasn't quite doing things right and I didn't want to chance anything anymore. And then you are pretty quick, aren't you? Oh, this guy's fast. All right, now. Hmm. Get you a first shot and a second shot. And then we'll finish it. There we go. Let's see what you do about this. Okay, we did it. Nice. Then we need to double check and make sure we don't have a... Good, it's not right immediately next to us, so we're safe. Hmm. Something's amiss, interestingly enough. I see that I still need animal feed. Even though I have put animal feed in the resource storage, so that tells me that one of the workers isn't there, I guess. Maybe I made a miscalculation on the amount of uh, meat or uh, animal feed we made. We'll have to double check that. Let's get it, though. Oh, yeah, the moose still. All right. This will hopefully... Now, all of this is pre-work for next season, essentially. I'm essentially doing all of the work to get into next season right now because we are... It's already done. I mean, the day's worth of production is done. Oops. Your little levitation trick won't work on me, friend. You can't just side slide. I love that move, though. Bison doing like a side slide step. That was cool. It's like a slick back Weissant. Man. All right, let's go see what's going on with that animal feed situation. Perhaps it's the donkeys, since I don't actually have a worker for that. Maybe so. Speaking of donkeys, where's my arrows? Would leave the arrows just kind of chilling out here, although it's wasteful, just to save myself a little time and just get straight into the areas I need to be. But, I don't know. I think it's probably better that I just get all the stuff and go. Alright. One more arrow. And I think we actually have a couple more arrows at the bottom. And a moose. Okay. That takes care of all this hunting area. Good. I'm glad that I didn't get this area hunted out right away since it's nice to be able to come to it later. There we go. And I'll find the last of the arrows, and then into the mines we go. The mines of Moria. The mines of Kinotopia? I don't know. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, of course. All right, let's get these last arrows and run. I will need more arrows for next season, but I have a dude who produces them, so we're okay. I also have a whole lot of pregnant people. It's a problem. Okay, which animals are the problems? The donkeys are, of course. And I guarantee you there's no worker at the donkey. Oh, interesting. So they'll still reproduce as long as there's food in the uh, in the actual place. That makes sense, and that's cool. That makes it easy for me, as a person, to be able to do more work with donkeys. Not that I need baby donkeys. That would have been handy to know before I sold off the horses, huh? Carrying too much. Oh, Don is overloaded. There we go. I might be able to move faster than Donnie. But at this rate, now I can pick up sticks as we go. Aha! Alright, Don, you're doing it. You're doing it. Alright, let's get as many sticks as we can on the way. And then we'll get in there. And yeah, this is weighing him down a little more, but not enough to make too much of a difference. <laughs> Alright. Can't do it, Don. I move way faster off of you. So let's get you here. We'll teleport you over. It'll work out just fine that way, buddy. Oh, the villagers that have to walk. There's a lot of villagers that have a walk ahead of them. 
Okay, now we can take care of it here. Because he's got all the meat and the roach on him. And the salted meat. And we'll drop all these things in here. And we'll get the rest of the resources in the bins. And we'll be able to start this next season off. Ooh, why would I think that leather goes in here? Anyway, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, we're at max capacity. Interesting. Interesting. It's going to be all the cabbage. Of course it's going to be the cabbage. All right. Hmm. Looks like we're going to need to make some food. All right. Time to make some bowls. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear is right, I should say. Because, man, that's a lot of food. There's that route that I left out. The reason I left it out, that was a bunch of stuff that I couldn't produce. Oops, there we go. Okay, cabbage is definitely the thing that's weighing us down because there's 408 of it. Okay, so we really need to slow down on the cabbage production is what I'm seeing. The roach I can definitely take and I can convert that to fish meat. But if I recall right, that's going to actually add some weight. Wow, that's a lot of roasted meat. Pretty sure I don't have enough onions to make that work out. Pretty sure I also have a problem of... We don't have... <laughs> another reason why we need the logs, right? That whole... This can be rot. And we can use these up. We might just have to do a bunch of rot, honestly. Ooh, I need the resources, though. That was a big big blast. All right, let's get our... we got to get a resource storage stuff going on here. All right, we'll take all of these. It's only 13 of them. Let's take a bunch of this. And it wouldn't be bad to take the onions if I just had plates, of course. So now we need to find out how many plates we've got available and how many bowls we have available. All right, and this just took precedent. So this is a total weight of 22 as it stands. I'm going to double check a thing. So let's see. If it's a weight of 22 as it stands, then we'll see how much it weighs when it comes out as roasted fish meat. If it's 22 now, it turns into 2.2. Then the roach is definitely going to be turned into fish meat. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Good to know. So that means that we need to take care of this. And let's get on Don and roll. Oh yeah, he's overloaded though. Hmm, we can cure that. Okay, that was really... It was originally my plan to get into these houses and get decorations done and mine. But for now, I don't have a choice. I've got to take care of this need right now. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to go back here, we're going to find out how many logs we have, and then we're going to find out how many bowls and plates we have just chilling. And then we're going to make everything we can, food-wise. I prefer not to make everything into rot, because it doesn't give me production tech, and obviously the production tech is worth the time. But it is a situation we have to deal with. Alright, wooden bowls at 78, and no wooden plates at all. Hmm, okay. And logs of 30. And I still need planks for next season. Alrighty, and that's too bad. We're gonna... I think we're gonna struggle a bit here. I think we're gonna struggle with this balance just for a little while. Let's see here. What did I do for planks for the day? I need 64 planks for a day. Oh, gosh. I think we'll have to cure that problem as a tomorrow thing. So the planks can be just, I'll make a few to deal with that, and then we'll build a bunch of bowls. I also obviously need the firewood, right? The sticks and bowls, really problematic. That's unfortunate, isn't it? Alrighty, let's get in here, do this, and obviously I should probably think about getting my, oh, it's only 20 planks, that's not going to get us anywhere. Let's get our bronze arrows before we leave. Bronze arrows of like 40. I also need to think about, maybe I can think about doing something with, no, I don't have enough clay though. Hmm. 
it might be worth thinking about tearing down a workshop and doing more sticks and stones because that would save me some of the issue but it would also manufacture another issue which is how can i possibly keep up with the demand for sticks and stones which i can't i mean right like that's definitely a concern hmm. this will take some thinking we'll do some tinking here oh yeah we'll put on our tinking cap and we'll do some tinking about this one here yeah Ah, you, I'm punching it. Oh, I'm sorry. What am I doing? My bad. Y'all, I can't believe it. There you go. Pop that potion. Let's do this. Okay, now you can see things. Go figure. We have a decent amount of bowls. So we'll do this, and then we'll do a bunch of wooden plates. Because I do have those onions. Although I really have a much larger... I have a much larger crew of uh, cabbage than I do anything else. So I probably should think cabbage first. So we'll do the bowls. Heavy on the bowls. All right, that's the plan. Now, with the time I have remaining in this season, we are just going to be making, we're just gonna be making food. Making pottage and making, can't make the vegetable soup, otherwise that'd be convenient. Making pottage with the meat and the cabbage and then also making the meat and onion dish, which is the meat with gravy, which is the roasted meat side of things. I'm going to have to start telling my people to prioritize what they eat and tell them to prioritize eating the roasted meat. I think that that's going to be a worthwhile go. It'd be really handy if those bowls got dropped into here, but I know they don't, so we'll deal. Well, I can carry it all. But I can't carry all of this, though, is the problem, right? Ooh, I can. Let's max it out as best we can. <laughs> it can carry one more. Okay, that's what it is. Oh, well. All right, then. Don, get out of the way, man. All right. Now that's definitely not going to have bowls in it. Go, oh, and then let's get the other. Other is meat with gravy. That's 50 of them. That's all my bowl, my plates, I believe. Get me a sip of coffee for all this cooking that's going to happen here. Fantastic. Now what am I missing? I'm missing plates. So... That's the end of that deal. Let's go back in here and meat with gravy is good to go. The onion, fine, whatever. Oh, I see, I had the roach still on me. That was silly. Let's take care of the roach situation, which will definitely lower some of the storage capacity issues we have right now. I'll take care of that. And lastly, it's time for potage. Oh, uh, yeah, mmm, yummy, mmm, cabbage, yes. Give me all your cabbage. And then let's cook up the pottage. 128 of them. <laughs> oh, these people better love pottage. Or potage? They better love it. Either way. Alright, that'll take care of that. And what are we out of? We're out of bowls, because that's that's exactly how things are going to go. Oof, duh. I'm going to drop these, and... Still not walk. Oh, I still can't get away with it here. Hmm, then we'll have to drop some of these. I prefer not to do that. Yeah, that was cool. Lands right on it. Alright, well, what do we got going here? Got the pottage. We'll put that in here. The roasted fish meat is obviously... I think I might just sell that. I think that might be the go-to thing to do with that. As far as meat is concerned, the best thing I could do with the meat is I could just simply roast it all of the stuff that I have sitting here just so that's done and so that we're actually doing work with it and gaining even if it's the tiniest of production points we're still gaining production points because then I can leave it out and have it rot if I really want but I don't think that's a very productive plan there we go and it's 364 meat do that probably should have done that together as it was yeah this problem here we have is that we don't have enough wood for things and obviously, I still have to go finish that smithy, because that's a big deal. I'm leaving, I'm essentially leaving a whole production building from being finished, and I can't get there this season. I just do not think we can possibly get there in time. I mean, actually, there is no way. Okay, that's gonna go. So, what we'll do is we're going to make a stack of rot here. Can't really cook it at this point. 
This is at 50%. We'll drop our 50s. We have plenty of cabbage, unfortunately. Whether it's the right thing or not, we have made tons of cabbage. And I think I'm going to stop doing the cabbage rotations, because it's just its too much to take on. And I don't have enough storage buildings to make it worthwhile. There we go. Still a lot of cabbage, though. Let me check that out. Now we have room. We're good. Take the rot out of here. We'll drop it at our other area for rot. One of those cabbages rolled away. Oh well. Drop the rot. And check our timing. I might be able to I might be able to ride all the way over there and finish that thing. Honestly, I think that that's the right move. Problem is, I need to get I need the planks that I have over there. That'll work. I can get the planks. All right, let's see if we can do this. This is the goal. Drive over to the other village. Ride over the village, ride over to the other village. Finish the smithy so that we have it running next season. And, I mean, there's just, I can't get any mining done at this point. I could get a couple stones in. What I'll end up doing at the start of the winter, so what you'll see happening at the start of the winter is I'll probably start the day late. Depending upon how much time I have left today to record, I might do as much as I can get away with for mining. Just so that at the start of the day we already have... Let's go! Well, actually, no. I already saw in my storage that we have stone. So then that being the case, I actually just need to do a quick stick gather. So I'm going to run around and gather sticks. It'd be terribly exciting. Ooh, we're not going to make it. Giddy up. That being the case, time to play triage. Haha, <laughs> triage, because look at all the trees. Alright, we're going to play triage here, and what we're going to do instead is we're going to spend the rest of our time doing stick gathering. Because we are so low on sticks. And I need to make sure my workers next season are on it. I won't actually be able to make it back to the village. I won't be able to make it to the area to build in time to even get a hammer down this rate. Get this one down. I am going to need some trees. I'm going to need some logs. Okay. Try to let out some sticks while we're at it. There we go. Get a couple logs out of you, and obviously still doing the thing where you obviously... Oops, I don't want that. Gotta use the trick where you can gather up the... Once you fell your tree, your tree always use your stone axe to finish it off. Not that at this point I need to, because I'm made of money. But still, it's just good practice. Don't waste the durability of your good axe. Waste the durability of a stone axe that you can make over and over again. Get a couple of these done. And, you know, usually I do this work off camera, but I figure I'll show you. This is the kind of stuff I tend to do. Like when I say, hey, I went along gathering trees. Well, this is the exact work I'm talking about me doing. I try to run through and gather stuff as fast as possible. Find as minimum of a lost path as I can. And just get stuff going. Now, I didn't see a huge population of sticks that way. There we go. Alright, y'all. Here it is. The start of winter. And she's still going to be a mother. And this is our house. I don't think I actually showed you that I moved the house up to here. And so I moved us up to here. She will be working at that smithy soon enough. And welcome to the winter. And I'll see you again in the next episode. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you spending time watching this. And as always, thanks for your feedback on everything and your comments. Look forward to seeing you next time. Take care until then.